After a long hiatus, hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Kaon Trivia. In this episode, we will be covering probably Kaon's most interesting character, Samugi. So, Samugi's full name is Samugi Kotobuki. She is voiced by Minako Kotobuki in the Japanese dub, Shelby Lindley in the English dub, Hyung Jin Lee in the Korean dub, Marianne Grafham in the German dub, and Bo Ki Hui in the Chinese dub. Samugi is also known as Mugi, Mugi Chan, Mugi Senpai, Samugi Ojo Sama, and Mistress. Ha posh. She is 15 at the start of Kaon and 19 by the end. Her birth date is July 2nd, 1991. She is the keyboardist and main music composer of Hokago Tea Time. She is 157 centimeters or 5 foot 1 inches tall. She weighs 53 kilograms. Her hair is fair blonde. Her eyes are sapphire blue. Not just normal blue, sapphire blue. And her blood type is O. The instrument Mugi plays is a Korg Extreme Triton 76 keyboard. In Don't Say Lazy, however, she plays a white Korg RK100 keytar. Her surname is taken from former P-model keyboardist Hikaru Kotobuki. Samugi's last name also has the same pronunciation as her voice actor Minako Kotobuki, but is written with different kanji. The kanji of Samugi's given name refers to ponji, soft thin cloth woven from raw silk. Although Samugi does not like to flaunt the fact that her family is wealthy, it becomes rather obvious at certain points, and always to the shock of her friends. Her butler answers the phone when Ritsu calls her at home once and informs her that Samugi is on an overseas trip in Finland. Samugi's father owns the music shop that she and her friends frequently visit, so the workers there are always very courteous to her and greet her using her proper title of Lady Samugi. As a result, they offer her and her friends large discounts or free service. However, upon entering university, Samugi decided that she wouldn't depend on her wealth anymore and told her parents that the only thing she needed them to pay for would be her tuition. At one point, Akira bluntly points out that the girls of HTT might be friends with Samugi because they're after her money, making Samugi cry. Yui and Mio later reassure her that they're friends regardless of money, and then immediately afterwards show excitement over some sweets she brought for them. Mio remarks that they're not after her money, but her sweets. Samugi sometimes has to use the sweets and beverages she brings to manipulate the others, especially Yui, into doing club activities they would normally be too lazy to do. Samugi treasures her friends greatly. Upon seeing Yui, Mio, and Ritsu again after not meeting for several days, Samugi cries that she hasn't seen them in precisely, quote-unquote, 57 and a half hours. Samugi is apparently very strong, as in the anime she is seen carrying loads of heavy equipment without breaking a sweat, including her Triton Extreme, which weighs 37.26 pounds. She also knocks Akira over with a light strike. I think she's secretly a super soldier. Samugi can speak in Kansai dialect perfectly. This may be why Minako Kutsubuki was chosen to voice her, since she can speak Kansai dialect. Yui states that Samugi's eyebrows resemble pickled radishes due to their thickness. She furthermore emphasizes it in the Ura on specials as well as dream sequences. In these exaggerated dreams, Samugi's eyebrows serve as an anchor that prevents her from dissolving. When Yui and Ritsu ate her eyebrows, assumed to be radishes, on one occasion, she started to melt. Oddly, protractors served as makeshift anchors in the dream. Though she initially intended to join the choir club, she rarely actually sings. In the anime itself, she only sings in the final episode to Tsubasa wa Kudasai. Although it is said that she does the vocals to Honey Sweet's Tea Time, she does not perform it during the anime, rather only on the album. She also has vocal parts in other songs such as Tsubasa wa Kudasai and Hokago Tea Time, as well as on her character songs for Season 1 and Season 2. She seems to like Yuri, since in Volume 1 of the manga, she had fantasies of both Yui slash Mio and Ritsu slash Mio. 
Additionally, Sumugi initially showed signs of affection for Sawako-sensei, much to the surprise of Mio and Retsu, indicated by her staring at Sawako through makeshift binoculars consisting of two rolled-up magazines. In Chapter 16 of Volume 6, it is revealed that Sumugi was homeschooled when she was young, as this may be the reason why she is curious about the outside world. She has a childhood friend named Sumiri Saito. Her interest in Yuri came from when Sumiri would buy manga, which Sumugi was not allowed to see, for her. In Chapter 19, it is revealed that Sumugi can be really scary when she is angry. This can be seen in the way she scolded a servant when he interrupted Sumugi when she was talking with Mio on the phone. In the first episode of the anime, Sumugi makes a big deal out of mixing her fries with those of the other two girls. In Japanese culture, sharing your food with the group is a sign that you accept the group as your own, so Sumugi was both being formal and very sweet in one go. Sumugi can be regarded as the female counterpart to George Harrison of the Beatles. Much like Harrison, Sumugi started out as the single most talented member of her band, and is a prodigy famous for being successful in spite of refusing to conform to restrictive social norms. Both are famous for their enthusiasm to try anything and everything new, and maintain equally close if sometimes distant friendships with their respective bandmates. Also much like Harrison, Sumugi is the closest to the resident fellow eccentric Yui, much like how Harrison was close to Lennon. Whether it be intentional or otherwise, Sumugi's name sounds a little like the surname of Robert Moog, the man who pioneered the synthesizer and created the first publicly available, easy-to-use synthesizer, the Mini Moog Model D. In terms of character, Sumugi, who often goes by Mugi, is the gentle and sweet keyboardist of Hakago Tea Time. Sumugi is considered a piano prodigy since she was four and has experience, having won piano recital contests. She is the daughter of a company president, and her family has several villas in various places around Japan. She often brings sweets and confectionaries to her friends, which distracts them from practicing most of the time. The tea set and the tea which they drink often are unusually high in price. Although she is a sweet and gentle girl, she is often entranced by the sight of two girls interacting closely together, sometimes imagining something more risque. She initially intended to join the choir club, but after Ritsu's false flashback of promising to start a band and seeing Ritsu's and Mio's silly interaction, she decided to join the light music club instead. Sumugi displays a rebellious streak occasionally, due to her wanting to deviate from her wealthy nature, and diverts from a well-behaved and mature demeanor to the surprise of others. She also has a habit of getting a little too enthusiastic about experiencing new things that the others take for granted, such as ordering fast food, eating yakisoba at a festival, and purposely provoking Mio to hit her, since she has little opportunity to experience them with her high status. Despite being wealthy, she tried her hand at a part-time job at a fast food restaurant. While a lot of things do not bother her, she is fairly conscious about her weight, just like Mia, and she gets a bit anxious when her family's staff starts spoiling her friends during villa visits. Another characteristic that makes Sumugi stand out from most other girls her age is her surprisingly prodigious physical strength. Her astounding feats of strength include rapidly carrying Ritsu's drum set one by one with so little effort that she hummed a happy tune throughout, instantly defeating the arm wrestling machine at the game center on maximum setting that Ritsu had painfully struggled against, and sending Akira flying into the wall with a light slap. And this is not taking into account that she regularly runs in a brisk jog with her instrument, the Cork Triton synthesizer, slung across her shoulder. The Cork Triton is a hefty piece of equipment. At 17 kilograms, it is comparable to an FIM-92 Stinger missile or FGM-148 Javelin missile launcher. Additionally, she was not slowed down or tired while dragging 30 kilograms of luggage while the band was running to catch a taxi to London Heathrow Airport, all the while with the said Triton synthesizer still slung across her shoulder. And so guys, that ends this episode of k -On Trivia. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you thought and keep an eye out for future episodes. 
As always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, where I sometimes make random K on posts. And remember to stay chilled. Oh, uh, Mogi chan? What's wrong? I don't know, it's Mogi chan. Mogi! Huh? Uh. Are you feeling okay? You looked like you were kind of spacing out. Uh, uh.